All right, so we're back on the griddle, and what I want to do today is I want to uh, make some omelets. So I've got all my mise-en-place together. I've got my eggs that I already I already whisked these up. Um, I've got some veggies that I'm going to cook. So the first thing I want to do is obviously get this heated up so it gets nice and hot. And I got my paper towel holder underneath here, so. Get a nice coating of oil on here. Let that heat up. I'm going to heat it about medium high heat. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is get the veggies down there to cook a little bit. Then I'm going to lay the eggs out, put the filling in, and. Uh, I'll roll them a, a few different ways so we can take a look at it. Um, there's like a French style, which is kind of, you know, rolled over itself. Um, I could do like, you know, a Denny style, which is folded in half. And then I can also do a, um, there's like a burrito style that a lot of people do as well. So they kind of keep a, a pocket of all their food in there. Um, so let me get some butter. My omelet's pretty simple. Um, the eggs are unseasoned. They're just, just whisked together. I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper when I cook everything individually. So uh, this is starting to heat up. I'm going to put uh, the ham down right here. I'm going to do a little more oil for these mushrooms. I like to season everything individually. Ham salty enough, I, that doesn't need any salt. Do a little bit of peppers and onions. So once I get all these, I'm going to cook them all separately because they all cook a little bit differently from one another. And then once I feel like they're all ready to go, I'll mix it all together. Lay the eggs down, and then I can stuff the omelets up. So, spread these out. Use some oyster mushrooms. This is just some, you know, straight up deli ham that I chopped up. Peppers, onions. That's it. So let this cook for a little bit. I'm actually going to turn it up to high just while I'm cooking these and then I'll lower it down once I get the eggs on. These mushrooms are about 50% uh, there. The ham. The Pepper is looking pretty good. I'm going to mix these together. Starting to get a nice brown on the outside of the mushrooms. I definitely want to, when I cook my mushrooms, I usually try to cook them on a high heat, let them get nice and crispy. Nothing worse than soggy mushrooms. I think the when people are cooking mushrooms and they get a little fearful, it's, you want to cook them on a nice high heat and let them cook all the way. Um, people always get. They want to move them a lot, and uh, you just want to let them crisp up, not get all soft and mushy and gross. So I'm going to turn this section down to low, push this over. I like to keep them in a, when I whisk them and I bring them outside, I usually try to keep them in like a Tupperware container or a quart container like this. It's so much easier to just pour right onto the griddle. 
I like the nice thin omelets. If you want to do them thick, you do you. Got some brie that I cut ahead of time. Just got like a whole wheel. Throw that right in there. And these fillings are all going to be hot, so mix them all together now. And then once I put them into the to the omelets, it's going to help melt that cheese. So that's my my rolled guy, kind of your typical French omelet. Uh, this guy will be the old fold in half. Put that over there. Put that on low. Don't be afraid to move the eggs around a little bit. If you ever watch somebody like a professional chef cooking an omelet, they're usually going to move the eggs a little bit anyway. Now that we've got this perfectly seasoned, I'm actually going to grab this cheese, but now that we've got this perfectly seasoned from the, the first breakfast we cooked on here to, to where we are now, um, if you remember, I didn't put a lot of oil on. I let things kind of get, get stuck on there a little bit, but now it's like, you know, perfect nonstick. And every time you cook on it, it's just like, you know, like a wok. It's just going to season or a cast iron skillet. And it's it's going to taste even, you know, it's going to um, have the food taste better. It's going to not stick on there anymore. Everything is just going to be that much better. So. Getting a little sloppy out here. But you know what? You can always fix things. Look at that. Alright, I got enough for one more. I'm just going to do a straight up cheese omelet. A real beautiful, delicate omelet right here. Beautiful omelets. Got a little fresh parsley. That's it. The only thing that, uh, if you want to add on a little bit of flavor, is if you get a stick of butter while it's while it's nice and warm, you can rub it right on the belt, and that butter is going to melt onto the eggs. Just kind of dot it on there. It's only going to make butter makes everything taste better. A little more salt. We're good to go.